Hello world, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to share some of the basic tips and tricks you can try out on the Moto G4 Play. So Moto G4 Play comes with stock Android experience which is a uh, uh, marshmallow that is Android 6.0.1 out of the box. So these uh, tips and tricks are not really limited to Moto G4 Play. Uh, most of the devices which have the stock Android uh, will be able to uh, use these tips and tricks. So let's get started with uh, some of the basic tips and tricks you can try out on the Moto G4 Play. So first step uh, we'll uh, see how to do some customizations. If you press and hold the home screen you can see your wallpapers, widgets and settings. So we are not going into wallpapers and widgets, that's self-explanatory, you can select uh, your choice of wallpaper and uh, add widgets uh, from these two options. Now if you go to the settings, so this now uh, uh, gets you to the Google now or Google search uh, settings and options. So you can see uh, now cards are available, so you can turn on the cards uh, and get uh, access to some of the other information and get a better experience. So that's how you can turn on cards. Then uh, now on tap is available, so ask uh, Google to show more information about the screen you are uh, viewing right now say for example if you are reading some text on the website if you just press and hold the home button uh, now on tap will be enabled and this will give you more information about what is being shown on the screen so you can just uh, enable now on tap here and just when you press you can see that's now on tap uh, so that's how now on tap works so from any screen you can just uh, uh, tap on this and uh, get uh, the now on tap suggestions so we just click here and there you go that's now on tap uh, you can see more information uh, about uh, the app which, what is being shown here so you can uh, see google play store news uh, youtube videos etc can be enabled uh, from the now on tap so that's a pretty useful option and uh, now apart from that in the settings if you just come down now uh, you can see allow rotation so that's a useful feature if you want the rotation of the home screen you can just enable it here now if you see if i just rotate here you can see the home screen also rotate so that's another useful feature if at all if you want that option to be available so you can just turn on uh, the uh, allow rotation from the settings so that's the uh, the basic customization now let's go to the notification center here if you press and hold the gear icon you can see a small gear icon here so just press and hold uh, for a few seconds and uh, then once uh, this uh, uh, when you release it you can see uh, system ui tuner has been added to your settings so now you can uh, see you can scro scroll down and you can see system ui tuner available in the settings so what this system ui tuner uh, does is it adds some added features like say for example quick settings so quick toggles can be rearranged here so that's another useful option if you want to rearrange the quick toggles uh, you can do it from the system ui tuner so remember this will be available only if you just press and hold the a gear icon from the settings for a few seconds and then release it you get this notification then uh, status bar you can see what all uh, needs to be shown cellular data airplane mode ethernet uh, so these options uh, which are available at the top can be customized so that is the status bar then uh, show battery percentage so now uh, if you don't enable that it, you won't uh, see the battery percentage but if you uh, enable that you can see the battery percentage embedded into the battery icon so these are some of the options in the system UI tuner which can be enabled from here. Then apart from that uh, we also have a Moto app. So this Moto app uh, is pretty useful. You can see some actions and display options available. So just click the actions and you can uh, see uh, one option that is swipe to shrink screen. So that is basically uh, uh, the single handed UI or smaller UI. Now it's a 5 inch display. So we can just uh, uh, make the display smaller. So what you can do is just uh, swipe from the bottom and you can see a smaller screen and uh, that's the uh, option available so you can just tap on the uh, black area uh, to exit uh, this screen so that's the uh, shrink screen available then if you go to the display uh, this display allows you to uh, show notifications battery friendly notifications fade in and out while the screen is off to uh, show you what's going on so uh, once uh, once the screen is turned off uh, you can uh, get these notifications uh, 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 this will be available here right now there are no notifications that's why it's not uh, showing up here it will show the clock and the notifications and that will not consume uh, battery uh, that is how uh, that will just that will de definitely consume battery but it will not be uh, heavy consumption it will be battery friendly notification and you can also show I mean you can also block apps uh, from the motor display so that's the motor display and also select how much uh, details has to be shown and uh, keep the screen dark uh, from uh, a particular time 
and to a particular time and you can also vibrate on touch so these are the options in the motor display so once you get notifications and that uh, phone is turned off i mean the display is turned off you can still see some of these notifications available here so that are some of the options and uh, uh, tips and tricks you can try out on uh, uh, the Moto G4 Play and uh, uh, get the better out of your device. Hope it was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.